Look at look at here. What we got today, what we got today. It's about you. That Rocky Mountain flavor. Stranahan's Blue Peak. Solero finish. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 43% alcohol. You see the bottle right here. Single malt domestic whiskey here. These type of stuff right here, I like to really indulge in domestic single malts to see exactly how they do. But as you can see, this is a different Colorado domestic product. And then we're going to see exactly how good they did. Straight in hand, Blue Peak, review on deck. Let's go. Oh, baby, we back at it again. Another hot review for you. Trams on deck. Today, today we got a little something different in the building. Today, we have a domestic sleeper in the building. The reason why I say that is because I think it's one, this particular brand, Straight in Hands, is a Colorado whiskey, domestic Colorado whiskey. And I think that this one right here is, they know for single malt, not, you know, not bourbon, because most bourbon is coming from obviously the Kentucky, maybe even t Tennessee area. But this one right here is a single malt domestic, and I think they do a pretty damn good job at what they do. Um, so I was sleeping on it because it's not uh, something that's well known. You're not gonna see it at many restaurants, bars, kind of under the radar. So that's why I'm bringing it to life as much as possible and spread it, trying to experience this particular uh, dram with you and showing a little bit more light than it's doing. So anyway. Here's the bottle right here, straight of hands, Blue Peak. Yes, sir. It's in the building. Now, this particular one is bottled at 43%. It has a Solera process. We'll dive into that in just a second. Um, here's the little 360 of the bottle. This one right here, um, I actually reviewed. This is my third straight of hands bottle that I'm reviewing. The first, well, I, my first or the second one. But I think I, I reviewed a Sherry cast. And I also tried uh, the regular Strana, uh, Hands, um, which has the yellow or gold label. So anyway, this is the Blue Peak, which is, I think, a semi or newer release. I actually got this bottle not too long ago. I got this in, uh, I remember it was Memorial Day weekend. I was in Phoenix, Arizona. I went to a little small sh uh, store. I was looking for something to sip on, and I saw this one. They had a limited selection, so it wasn't like I had a lot to choose from. But anyway, I saw this in the, in the back. I think I paid 45 bucks for it, which I think the, the AB, uh, I mean the normal uh, MSRP for this is like 40, 45 bucks. So I pretty much paid the typical price for this. So about 45 bucks for this, which is a pretty damn good price for a single malt domestic. I, that's not bad. I mean, obviously um, you always have some drams that's, that's less, but I think that's a pretty good price for it. Um, 43%. And uh, this one right here, um, Solera process. So Solera process, a little bit of what I know of the Solera process is that they pretty much uh, age for four years in an oak barrel, all right? They take it out and they put it into another oak barrel and then they kind of, they call marry the, uh, the liquids together. Once it's married together or balanced together for a certain amount of time, they take a portion of it out, they put some more uh, of the uh, spirit in and just kind of redo it. it. Basically that's a process used, mostly used for wines and, and it kind of softens and mellows so to speak, the actual spirit. So it kind of mellows it and makes it easy, uh, easy sipping. So that's kind of a little bit of the process. Another uh, uh, distillery that does a uh, Solero process actually is the Glenfiddich uh, 15 year. The Glenfiddich, uh, Glenfiddich 15 year is also Solero process, which also has a uh, very nice, easy sipping, mellow finish. It's been some while since I had the Glenfiddich 15, the one with the, the uh, Deer horns on it, but it's still, I remember it was a very good one. Um, so anyway, slower process, similar process. Mostly used for wines to make it mellow. Did it for the whiskey, 43%, so it's kind of soft, not super heavy on the ABV, and it's pretty much customary for easy sipping. Um, like I said, 45 bucks. Um, I, I would say that I have not seen this everywhere, so everybody's not gonna have this particular bottle. Some spots may have it like all over the shelves. Some spots you won't be able to find it for a while, you know, so it just depends on location. So, um, but it is available online if need be. Um, so it's, it's not, uh, it's like I said, expensive one, you get it for less than 50 bucks. So it's not gonna break the bank. So uh, that being said, we're gonna nose it. We're gonna taste and score it as always. Let's take a look at this color right here. You can see right here it has a medium amber color, very medium, nice medium color here. And I've been letting this air out for a little while. So we're gonna nose it and see what this nose has to offer right before we taste it here. 
to see what we got right here. The Solero Blue Peak. Oh, wow. I smell a lot of apples. I smell that. Apples, vanilla, sweet oak. That's mostly what I pick up. Sweet oak, apples, and vanilla. That's not burning. It's not very abrasive. It's very soft, mellow, nice, soft scent. I like it. I like it. Just imagine if you cut an apple up and you and you had a a, a wine glass that you poured. That's kind of what I'm smelling like apples, wine, oak, sweet oak. Very nice. Very nice. Let's go palette. Let's see what we got. First sip, hold on. It's my palate, tingles. Second sip, I really dive into it. But even from the first sip, it has almost similarities to what I, what the nose is and what the taste is. So you're gonna have the apples, cinnamon, sweet oak, vanilla, a lot of vanilla, the apples on the tongue right now. But hold that, take one more sip, and we're gonna get even more into that. impressed with this. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm impressed that a domestic single malt whiskey would come out so good. Like, I almost, if you didn't tell me, I would think I'd be tasting the scotch. Like, almost. Like a non-peated scotch. I'd be like a sweet scotch. It's almost like like a, I get like a little bit of a port cast. If you, people who are, if you drink worldly whiskeys in particular, like a sweet scotch or a port whiskey, you know what I'm talking about? You get a lot of fruits on there. You get fruit. I get like the apples, the cinnamon. I also get sweet oak, vanilla, honey. And it's so mellow. So easy to sip. It's only 43%, so it's, gonna, it's obviously going to sip easy. And it's so, I, when I say mellow, it hits the fourth because of the, the Solero process. But man, this is this is a comfort drink. When you come home, you can sip this damn. I can pretty much sip this damn any day. Unless I really want it. The only way I wouldn't sip it. With days, if you want something really like a heavy punch, like a cash strength, 60%, like if I wanted something like a Stag Junior or a Buffalo Trace, something that's heavy ABV, just hit shit with the face with alcohol punch, it's not going to be that. It's not going to be a heavy ABV on this. Um, and also, if you wanted something that was peated, it's not, obviously it's not peated. But outside of that, I mean, it it's very mellow. It sips so easy, so smooth, doesn't need water. I mean, it's only 40 bucks. I mean, come on. If you can find it, I, all day long, like I said, be honest with you, for me, I, I hate to sit sometimes in prison to the things that I, I love, uh, things that are hard to get or, or, or rarities are hard to find. I always uh, pride myself when I, whenever I put the work in, I hunt a bottle down, hunt me that I have to do research to see who has it, who has the best price, when is it coming out, limited releases or limited uh, um, uh, quantity bottles that are sought after, that I inquire about, you know, those are the ones that I really get happy about. Sometimes I overlook or I devalue subconsciously bottles that are easy to find that are every day, like a, like a McAllen, a Balvenie, a, you know, like a Boonhaven 12, just not too long ago. I was sipping the Boonhaven 12, I was like, damn, this is good. You know, and so many times, some of us, like, you know, reviewers, people who have a, like a, a mass collection, Sometimes you could you could just kind of get lost and shovel the things that are easy to find that are that are not you know uh, something that you have to really put any effort into finding that are always available. Just even the Jack uh, Daniels, just as the the cash thing. Just start, just use I'm just using these all for example, saying that sometimes the easy to find ones just because they're not limited release doesn't mean that they're not just good as the ones that are sorry out there. So this right here is a classic example of that. This is a this is a very solid whiskey right here. It's solid. If you like sweetness and mellowness, 
you would find this. Like I said, you're gonna get, you know, apples, vanilla, honey, um, sweet oak, all all of it is here. It is so it's so easy to sip. I'm gonna take one more sip. Mm -hmm. Man, this is a good one, y'all. I'm still rolling around my tongue, but I really like this, y'all. It is so so easy, so simple, man. For forty dollars, you can't beat the price. Like you cannot beat this for forty dollars. You really can't. And sip this all day long for forty dollars. This is a hitter. This is a winner. If you haven't. Picked up already, it's definitely a winner. Um, Stranahan's Blue Peak. Like I said, I've had the... I don't think I haven't had was the black one, black label one. I've had the the pretty much the entry level one or the, the gold or slash yellow uh, label. I've had, and, and the other ones come with a, like a big long tin top. So, if you know, hence I guess Colorado, if you go camping, you got your, you know, it's almost like a long shot glass. This one didn't come with. I think it had. I think it might have came shot glass, but the, where the little small store I got it from, they didn't, they didn't have it on there. But anyway, a lot of Stratahans have these little super tin tops on, on the very top of the bottom. But anyway, um, I've had the Sherry Cast one, and I've had the Gold one, and I've had this one. All three of them are solid and sweet. They all get busy for me. Um, so this one is like I said, man. This is the cheapest of all three of them. This one. This blue peak was only 40, 40 something bucks. I think the the gold label Stranahan one was like maybe fifty bucks, and then the Sherry cast that I got um, was for about maybe sixty bucks, sixty five bucks, somewhere around there. So this is the cheapest out of all of them, and this is man, this is smell. After the other ones are around uh, forty seven percent or so, this is forty three percent. But anyway, it's a solid winner. So, um, where would I score this one? So for me, scoring this one on the whiskey scale, one to, one to ten, ten being the best for me, Dram's on deck. Man, I'm going to tell you, y'all. Sometimes you got to give love to things that are just, you know what I'm saying, solid whiskey. So for me, I give this a solid eight and a half all day long. Solid 8.5 all day long on the Stranahan's Blue Peak. And I'm going to tell you why. This is That's with everything out the door. With we're going, That's taste. Uh, price and availability, everything out the door. And if you if you really want me to be honest with you, if, if we're talking about adding the value to it, I think it's a nine if we're talking about value. So just taste alone, eight and a half. If we just strictly talk about taste, it's an eight and a half. But when I but when I factor in the availability and the in the price factor, I have to I have to bump this up to a, another half a point to a nine because this is something that like if it was if this was a scotch, it's probably be a little bit more. This would probably be easy twenty dollars more than it is. So I think the fact that it's only forty dollars and it's just so easy, it has it has a nice uh, medium complexity to it. Nothing overly complex, but medium complexity to it. Great price availability. Like I said, it's going different. Like some spots could have this. Oh, I know some spots that stores that have this off the shelf, and some spots you won't find it. So it's going to differ in your area. But when if I factor in the whole value of what it what it tastes like and what it, the price value is. I have to give the, the total package a nine, you know, because I just think that it's a wonderful domestic single malt whiskey. And like I said, you got to show love to some, even the easy or, or the less expensive ones. But for the value, I definitely think this is really good. Smooth, easy, mellow. It's just, you can sip this all day long. Um, uh, like I said, it, it's just, I, I just, I enjoy it. This is, this is a good sipper. I mean, it doesn't have any peat. And like I said, the only, only thing that, you, that I would say, if you're looking for something that has a, Umf to it, high proof, uh, super long finish, just knock you out with a high, you know, with just with the strength, it's not gonna have that. Um, so it's only forty three percent, but it's still it, 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 it's a, it's a good forty three percent. And like I said, if you have a peat monster, you're not gonna get peat on this. Outside of those two things, it gets busy straight up. So um, I just enjoy it, man. I I, I really do. Like I said, it reminds me of like. Uh, like a domestic, you know, domesticated uh, uh, port, uh, portwood uh, sherry. So if you ever had like the Glenmorangie portwood, um, as I was, not the Glenmorangie, I'm sorry, the Glendronic portwood. I reviewed the Glendronic portwood. This is, it doesn't taste exactly like that, but the fruit in this, in the, in the balance that you get from that, 
This is a is a slightly lesser version of that. This is very good. I like it. I really do. Um, you should check it out. Forty bucks is not gonna break the bank. You should be good to go if you can find it. If you never had it, if you want to uh, to try something different, um, give Stranahan's a shot because I've I've not had a bad one yet. The Sherry Cast surprised me. I reviewed that one. I was like, yo, this could compete with some scotches, like straight up. So I I, I like what they're doing. They're doing good things, you know. So. Uh, Texas has some good spirits coming out of there. Colorado, this is the only one the Colorado whiskey I've had, but they they holding their own, they're handling their business. So, yeah, I got to show them some love. So, Stranahan's Blue Peak is a winner for me. 8.5 on the taste scale. When you factor in price and availability and value, I bump it up a half a point to a nine. Stranahan's Blue Peak, give it a shot, y'all. Um, also, Hopefully you got something out of that, man. If you're looking for something new in, in, in the aisles and looking, searching like, man, I want something new. I'm tired of same old, same old. I think you should give this a shot. If you if, the, if that flavor profile that I just spelled out is kind of to your liking, definitely give it a shot, man. Um, hopefully, um, I got if you stick around, I got a lot more hot reviews coming. I'm going to be moving soon, so my decor is going to change in the coming uh, months or whatever. But uh, stick with me. I'll be definitely be coming back with my own heat. Um, stay tuned. Uh, please check uh, my Instagram page. I have a link in my description box. Please check my Instagram page. I got a lot of uh, bottles in there that I have not reviewed. Some I have reviewed. I got a lot of different things that uh, that's coming in the horizon. So please check my Instagram page out. And also hit the like button, subscribe button. Likes and subscribes are for free, y'all. Um, so I also have a cash app, Patreon. If you choose to support, I do everything independently. Uh, so anyway, man, I hope you guys sit my of it. I got more hot reviews coming your way. Thank y'all for your support, your time, and your love. If you had this before, or even if you haven't, hit me in the comment box. Let me know your opinions of it if you tried this before, if you have some similarities to it. All right, I'm out of here. Drams on deck, yes, sir.